Hi, GDR here in beautiful Jamaica with some more answers to some of your questions. The first one, weirdly enough, is about answer. The question is, you sometimes say answer and you sometimes say answer. Where does your accent come from and what is it? My ac it's a good question, really. And funny enough, I am asked that from time to time because, are you Australian? Yes, I am, of course, born in Australia. Wonderful country. Go there and visit it. It's a great country. Great people. And by the way, if you visit Australia, visit New Zealand too. What a place. I love Kiwi. God bless you guys. All right. God defend New Zealand. So, here we have this situ situation of an accent that's really a big mush-up. You know, it's, um, it comes from lots of different places. And as you, from my experience, you're an empathetic listener in, in, as a traveler when you start sounding like the people that you're with. And that also, if you're that kind of listener, where you actually start sounding and getting in the cadence and rhythm of the people where you live, or where you're visiting, and where you're staying, that makes uh, you a, the kind of person who can pick up a language more quickly. One of the big differences is not IQ or anything like that. One of the big differences is how you connect with people. And if you're an empathetic listener, meaning you start to sound like those people, empathetically to make them feel more comfortable and for you to feel more comfortable in the cadence of their rhythms and so on and not imposing your style wherever you go, if you know what I mean, if that makes you someone who picks up languages quickly. But what happens when you pick up languages is that it starts to change the way you speak your own, you know, original, born um, speech that, that you come into the world with. My mother didn't have a, a, what you'd call a traditional Australian accent. Um, she had a university educated accent. My biological father was um, from uh, Canada originally and had a, a Canadian accent, an uh, Englishman who was raised in Canada. We had um, my stepfather of 49 years, my dad as well, wonderful, wonderful man, was university educated and well and had a kind of university cadence, which is an Australian university academic cadence, and everyone's familiar with that on TV and here and there, I think, in Australia. So you, you wouldn't say that's the straight up traditional Australian accent either. So I sort of started with that and then started to accumulate more things. And it, it affects you, you know. Um, you know, see, see, par exemple, quand je parle en français, ça change dans le temps de ma voix. Ça change profondément. C'est pas bizarre, mais c'est presque. Et parce que je parle tellement brièvement en français, j'aimerais envoyer un big up à Christine. Tu es splendide, tu es splendide, cri cri. Tu es splendide, tu es magnifique. And then when I speak English again and go back into the way I speak English, that whole cadence and way of speaking has just gone. So um, hopefully, when I'm here long enough, I can pick up Patois and I can do one of these podcasts full on in Patois. But the thing is, there's a hundred Patois, it's not just one. Jamaica is such about diversity that there's a hundred ways to speak Patois. But all right. So that's the answer to that one. Answer, answer. There's your answer, there's your answer. It's a mush up of different places and so on. I hope it doesn't sound too confusing when you listen to it. Bless up. <laughs>